Well, here it is, the Sunset Pied update. going on everybody? Joel here from Stay 48 Exotics uh, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Sunset Pied Clutch and if you were in attendance to the live stream over on Reptiles Unplugged then you already know the results but uh, yeah bit of a bummer but before we get into that I want to give a quick shout to BSR. Dude finally got the shirt in man thank you so much. I love this shirt. The logo, the contrast, everything's doing good on it. It's Epic, dude. Really appreciate it. We all need to go over there and give him a check over on uh, all of those social media platforms. Links will be down in the description down there. So we're doing a bit of an update before we jump in, um, but we got something really cool in, obviously. So uh, let's let's check that out real quick. So there it is. There's the new thing, uh, and up there, and that right there. So yeah, we got in our Freedom Breeder. So we got in a brand new uh, 80 tub, uh, the, I think it's the FB80. It's, it's the one with a window. It's, it's a couple inches thicker, or thicker. It's a couple inches taller than the uh, 70 tubs. So uh, kind of gives a room for like a bigger hide or you know whatever it may be. But more importantly, it comes with the windows. I love the windows. The windows are so cool and obviously, they're they're blocked out right now because the you know I'm not gonna peel off the sheet and then scratch up the plexiglass but you know before I get snakes in there but which leads me to the next thing is I I guess I, it's time to it's time to fill that thing up I really need more snakes now so uh, the recruitment begins I suppose so that's exciting this is this is all this is all good good news this is good news and I needed some good news uh, once you see this sunset pied clutch one thing I will say though look at this look at this fit it's absolutely perfect it just is the perfect step down. Right there, that's awesome. This like none of, this couldn't have been worked out better. It, the, the Freedom Breeder made this for this room, this exact configuration. So super pumped that this all worked out. But uh, yeah, obviously added you know 24 more there, and then we have uh, our grow outs in the 40s uh, now. So we added you know four rows of the 40s, which is uh, exciting. Um, so we have all of our holdbacks from last year are pretty much filled up uh, in the grow out rack now so that's that's awesome um, because the 40s I feel like do really good as a grow out rack anyways you know if you put like a hide in there or something like that they can they can have great success uh, you know growing out in there and then moving down into here maybe eventually I can have you know all of my breeder males in the 40s we will have our uh, our special 48 females uh, which you know crazy that worked out too we have we have 48 uh, female racks, uh, state 48, you know, yeah, 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 no, maybe, um, yeah, no, but these are epic, these, uh, they have the cup holders, obviously, and I love that, um, the construction on the cages, this, this rack right here is five years old, and this rack here is brand new, um, and obviously there is a difference in height, but that is because this one has the shelf, and this one does not. So that's, you know, an epic feature right there. I love the shelf already. I had it in here for five or six days. Incredible, absolutely incredible. So there is one thing that I really want. So I'm gonna call Jesse out a little bit because I don't know how hard this is because I know nothing about anything. Um, but we need 40s. We need 40s with windows because I want to see my snakes. I have all these cool snakes in here. I want to see them. And that's, you know, it's a big reason why I go with these tubs. I, I want to be able to see the animals that I keep, you know? So we need, uh, we need some windows on the 40s, uh, specifically for me, 100% um, selfish, but that's what we need. That's, that's what I think we need. So uh, pass that along. Pass that along to Jesse for me, guys. <laughs> Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the Sunset Pied Clutch. Um, they've all shed out, um, and so we get a pretty good idea of what the clutch is really gonna look like now, now that they've all shed out. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's pull those snakes out real quick. 
Okay, so uh, here are the Sunset Pies. So uh, I have a little shed right here. Go ahead and toss that out real quick. Um, they've all shed out except for one, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them in there together until this last one does shed out. Uh, this is the one that is in shed. I'll just go ahead and quickly kind of show him or her off. I can't remember, but if you can tell, I mean, there's a pretty cool little ringer right there. Um, so, you know, I'd be pretty surprised if this didn't turn out to be at least het pied, but you can see in those blushings and stuff like that, I mean, that's a pretty snake right now, and that's in shed too. So this is a pretty bright snake when it's out of shed, but you know, we'll, we'll show him or her off uh, when it finally sheds out, but let's, uh, let's jump over here to the other ones real quick. Okay, so uh, up first, I guess, was this, uh, this pied here. Um, and bear in mind this, you know, this is just two uh, normal looking snakes that bred together. This is, uh, to me, this is a pretty bright pied for just a normal pied. So I don't know, you know, maybe maybe we got super lucky here and the het influence of the sunset is uh, really coming through and, you know, kind of giving it that rust color. But, you know, time will tell on that. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is... Uh, this is, this is all we got right now, so we'll we'll see. All right, so we got uh, this one up. Uh, I feel like this one's you know pretty interesting. Uh, has kind of a you know normal looking belly on it for the most part, but kind of a cool start of a little head stamp on her. So I don't know, you know, unique looking, um, elongated tail. You know, looks like maybe. Some pied trackers. You don't really know, but uh, healthy baby nonetheless. Very bright and, uh, you know, can't go wrong with that. All right, so next one up. Uh, this is a male. So we ended up with six normals, two pieds. Uh, but I'm just, you know, I'm gonna give them all their, uh, their time to shine in each of these. And so all of these are obviously 66% double het uh, sunset pied, but you know, they, uh, they're all kind of a little different looking than each other, so uh, kind of interesting. So I don't know, maybe, you know, that'll be some tells for uh, the actual double heads or the not double heads or something like that. But uh, time, will, time will definitely tell me on that one, that's for sure. And so here's a real quick comparison between two of the normals. You know, I feel like you can kind of just see right off the bat that there's, uh, there's something different about them. You know, I don't know if you can pinpoint it, but it does seem like, you know, the alien heads are, are more broken up and they're, they're more granity. And this is more of a clean animal with, you know, a little more blushings going on down its side and its belly. Um, so it is kind of unique seeing the differences between the clutch mates, but um, who knows, maybe, you know, that's going to be something that shows het or not het, or, you know, maybe it's just variants within the normal ball python genome and there's kind of nothing going on. But either way, these are, these are some really, really pretty looking normals. So I'm super, super pumped on them, obviously. I mean, healthy snakes, you can never go wrong with. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to dive into this one here. Um, so this is the other one and, you know, I don't know, you know, pretty orange. This is a this is a crazy orange normal pied, you know, what should be normal uh, that came out of this. You know, the neck is super orange and kind of blushed out. I, you know, that's that's a that's a pretty wild looking pied in its in its own right, um, and it should be just a normal pied. And so this to me kind of seems like maybe there is some influence with Het Sunset in pied. Uh, cause this is, this is a very, very bright animal and you know, for comparison real quick, let me go grab a, uh, a yellow belly or gravel, you know, I don't know what he is. He came from the pastel highway clutch, so he is guaranteed yellow belly or gravel. There's, there's no guesswork in it. So let me, let me go grab him real quick and uh, do a side by side so we can kind of see some color. Okay. So, I mean, here you go. You know, obviously this right here is the yellow belly or gravel. Um, I, you know, I personally think gravel, but you know, can't, can't prove that out. That head stamps pretty crazy in that neck pattern. I don't know. That's, that says gravel pie to me, but you know, can't be sure. So uh, yellow belly or gravel, but guaranteed nonetheless, something that makes pumpkin pies, which are orange. And uh, between the two of these, this one does not look like a normal pie to me. You know, the, the coloration of a normal pie, you know, I don't, it's crazy. 
I don't even, I don't have a normal pied here and I can't, that blows my mind. I don't have a normal looking pied here. So I can't even show a normal pied, which is so unfortunate right now because it would look, it would look so much darker. And that's, that's kind of my thing here. This is a crazy looking snake kind of in its own right. Um, so I don't know, you know, that, that seems like that has to be the Het Sunset influence. I don't, I don't think this could be the double visual. I, I just, I just feel like Sunset uh, and a lot of the other jeans we've seen it, you know, you're not getting those huge black markings in there. So I just wouldn't expect the double visual to look like this. It's, it doesn't seem like that at all to me. So I feel like this has to be the Het, but you know, this is the girl. And so uh, I hope that by the time she's ready, I have hopefully a visual male that could go to her and uh, maybe we could prove that out. All right, so there you have it. There's the clutch in its entirety um, and it's uh, it's obviously, you know, a bummer for what we really wanted. You know, obviously it would have been epic to hit the double visual. It would have been also pretty nice to hit a least a sunset in there, but you know, sometimes the odds just don't go in your favor. And ultimately that's another reason this hobby is incredible because the end of the day, it would suck if it always went your way. It wouldn't be exciting. And that's that's what's really fun about this is there's always something to look forward to because there's always a little bit of excitement and a little bit of gambling involved. And those are kind of the things that uh, I love. I love that the most. I, I, I love taking risks. I love taking shots. And uh, we missed our shot this year, but the good thing is uh, we have next year and we have the year after that and we even have the following year after that. So. We'll, uh, we'll keep pushing for those sunset pides. Hopefully with uh, that clutch, we actually increase our odds, you know, hopefully sometime in the future. So without further ado, thank you all so much for being along on this journey uh, towards the sunset pides and the saga continues. But I hope you're all having a great morning, night, evening, whenever you may be watching this. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you all later.